It's every high school player's dream to still be playing football on Thanksgiving. And well, good news for Marlin, those dogs are still barking. After taking down Coleman last Friday in a too close for comfort matchup, the Bulldogs now face a Tioga team looking to break Marlin's 10 game win streak. It's going to take a lockdown defense to stop Tioga's cannon under center, racking in over 3,400 passing yards so far this season with a team that's averaging 43 points per game. But for Marlin, it's just one more squad standing in the way of their end goal. And in his third season with the Bulldogs, head coach Ruben Torres says this team has something special. You know, I feel like this is kind of a no-name team and they just play together and, and everybody steps up and, and somebody every every game makes a big play. You know, you look at defensively, uh, I think we have four guys pick the ball off. You know, they've had a business-like approach all year. And I think a lot of it changed just with the way the year started for us. Um, but once we, you know, kind of once we got into the groove and and got into a good flow, uh, really after the Mark game, I think we kind of woke up. After that Panther takedown, the Bulldogs rode a win streak the rest of the season. And on Friday, we find out which dog ends up on top in a battle of the Bulldogs that all goes down at 1 p.m. at Crowley ISD. But that's going to do it for sports. We'll be right back.